Hey guys, good morning. How are you doing? How are you doing today? It's Monday, the start of a new vlog. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or week or weekend. Yeah, if you're watching this, it's on a Sunday, so I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. Whew, why am I out of breath? I don't understand. Oh, let me show you guys. I got I got a few skincare products. These ones um, from Naturium. If you've been following me on YouTube for a while, you know that I love Naturium products. The owner of Naturium, or the former owner of Naturium, Susan Yara, she basically got me into skincare. Like, I used to watch her videos a lot, and I learned a lot about skincare from her and skincare by Hiram. And when she launched her brand in 2019, I believe, I think Naturium launched in 2019, or during COVID, or either 2019 or 2020, but I know it was covid each time I got into it this was the first product this was the first vitamin C I properly used the Naturium vitamin C complex I got this I loved it and I also got their niacinamide because at that point every other niacinamide I had used I had reacted to it so I tried theirs and I really liked it but obviously I don't know I just it got expensive in Nigeria that's why I just stopped using it but now my friend was in the US and I told her to help me pick up some products on her way here I picked up the azelaic acid I got this because of dark spots and then also the niacinamide gel cream actually guys <laughs> I told her to help me buy the niacinamide face wash and she doesn't know anything about skincare so she literally just saw green green and she got me the niacinamide cream instead which I mean it's still nice I don't really need it for my skin so I'm just going to keep it for Abdulaziz when he gets here he can use it as Part of his skincare routine and i wanted to share with you guys because this year is i really wanted to read last year i was supposed to read 12 books at least i read like four i think which is really bad so this year i want to be on my game and read at least 12 if not more i'm in competition with umsama umsama i think she has read at least six or seven by now i wish it's so annoying and guys there's only these three i've read it's so annoying i've read um this change your life in five which is it's not really like a book to read it's supposed to be a like it basically says practical steps to making meaningful changes in your life so there are basically questions and things you should answer as you go along basically like questions and you get to answer them and just basically make mean make meaning of your life it was would i recommend buying this book uh, not really it, it wasn't it for me it didn't do like i mean there were good questions but it did not do what i thought it was going to do for me so no next book i read was the secret life of brian by laurie foster i love laurie foster i read her book i really enjoyed the book that was cool i am currently reading the design of everyday things by don norman is it norman yeah the design of everyday things i'm currently reading this um it's been a bit hard honestly i don't know why whenever i have to read a conc like a productive book i just find it hard so I, I am considering registering or subscribing to audible so books like this i can just listen to them instead of reading it and then with my books fictional books like this i can actually read them or oh, see literally because i've had this book for almost i definitely had this book for two weeks and see what i've read i literally read this book in seven days or six days or five days actually i read this book in five days and i've had this one for two weeks and i've only read this amount i don't know what i'm going to do but i need to read it because i want to read at least two books in the month of february because during ramadan i want to read like muslim centered books i have a few in mind that i'm excited about buying i'm going to order them on amazon but the only way i can order them is if i finish reading this book so that's the plan hello Here about um a friend of mine re kind of like sent it to me because oh, okay. yeah so i just saw it and i was like oh this is interesting i definitely would love to register for yeah. it perfect all right i will see you tomorrow all right then bye bye yay um i have an activity for tomorrow i'm excited we're going for i need to go and find my swim clothes oh i need to find my goggles i'm still a fan even something
guys so i just finished um cooking i made jollof rice chicken i'm having into avocado and some vegetable the jollof rice did not turn out it i mean obviously i feel like i'm always making a complaint whenever i cook i'm just not the best cook honestly guys so i was done vlogging for the day but i had to just put on my camera because i just filmed content for tiktok and i'm so excited let me tell you the thing is i don't know why i'm so excited honestly i've been shitting on myself for a couple of days and i was just like oh i don't like my quality <laughs> guys i applied for a job and then i sent the hair manager a message on linkedin like to connect and i was just like oh i applied for this job let's connect and he accepted i replied me i was just and i was like hey how are you doing this, 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 this. his response was very like nice like i've gotten responses before but it's more like okay yeah just do this but this one is more like is it, it's giving i want to talk to you anyhow sure, that's what i that's what i on this camera for i turned on the camera because what did i turn on the camera for oh yeah i remember <laughs> i've been telling aisha and um Selma, anybody that cares to listen honestly how i haven't been liking my the quality of my content not on youtube the quality of my content on tiktok if you follow me on if you're on here and you follow me on tiktok and you watch my videos um can you let me know in the comments what you think of the quality of my videos come let's have a heart to heart honestly i don't understand you guys have been watching my videos but you guys are not commenting okay that sounded a bit aggressive but let me let me let me be nice why aren't you commenting i'm not going to lie it hurts my feelings i'm i'm not going to lie I'm just telling you guys this the truth i get the views are low which is fine because a lot of people that came to my channel came from canada immigration video and i am not going to make my channel a canada immigration video channel if that's what you're looking for you're not going to find them on my channel unfortunately and i, I completely understand that hence why my views have gone down which is understandable you came because of this particular video i'm not posting those kind of videos because the amount of emails messages dms i got from those videos it was it was a lot honestly and it wasn't even that people were asking me about immigrating as a pr questions that had to do with the process i went through which i believe my videos are very 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 detailed people were asking me about student visa i mean i'm a mechanic i'm a carpenter and i'm like i am not an immigration specialist i cannot help you like unfortunately that's not like it, it's just I, I can't help you but anyways i digress so i understand that views are low that's fine i will build my audience again i will find my people my people will find me but those of you that i am thinking are my people and are watching the videos why aren't you commenting are my videos not engaging let me know in the comments please if you're watching this Biko, and dang allah um but you get the gist like let me know in the comments are they not engaging why are you watching them because like you are watching and a decent amount of people watch my video to the end so why do you watch it to the end and not say and watch me telling you to say something and then you skip past me telling you to say something i don't say anything ah fear god so basically i've been complaining about how i didn't like the quality of my video but then this evening i was just moved to film like a makeup video the quality i don't know if you guys can see the quality properly are you seeing my skin looks like butter the makeup looks good i'm so excited and i kept on going back and forth about not wanting to film i'm so happy that i filmed hey guys good morning so it is currently 8 a.m i have been to the gym i have had i mean sort of breakfast i guess i just had like a cup of coffee because i'm not really hungry um i want to work i have my laptop here with me actually my room is scattered i need to arrange my room first but after arranging my room i want to just like reply two emails and ugh, i need to reply two emails i need to draft an email like the very important email that i need to send i was supposed to do this since but i just haven't done it so i need to do that and then i need to find my swimming clothes i'm going with aisha by the way i don't know if i mentioned this with you guys i called her and she said yeah she would like to go so we're going together i actually don't know if i ever told you guys because i wasn't vlogging in nigeria but while i was in nigeria i registered myself and Abdulaziz, and we went for like swim classes i dragged him and he ended up liking his shirt obviously let me see if i can find a clip So 
I am packed and ready to go. I packed my goggles. This is like my swim, like the bodysuit. I have like the the underpants in my bag and I'm wearing my jeans so that when I get there, I just have to pull off my jeans and wear this. I have my towel, my goggles, Vaseline, very important, sunscreen. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm, I'm hungry actually because my whole body is shaking. God, like my body is shaking. It's not even funny. The... She just texted me. All right, let me head down. Let me put on my shoes. Let's go, oh, oh, to go and swing. I Finished swimming. Aisha, how was your swimming yeah, class? I enjoyed it. My first time swimming. <laughs> Guys, she, this one, she's um, she's you will see her in Olympics next year. She was actually really, really good. But yeah, like next class, like this. Like, Guys. I, guys I was feeling myself. I was looking like expert. <laughs> and it's so funny that if my instructor or I'm like this or anybody that can actually swim, <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> They'll say, what am I doing? But there, I was feeling like an expert. Yes. But. It was good, alhamdulillah. And we met some people, so bismillah. We're coming back next week, inshallah. Guys, I'm so exhausted. I just got back home. I'm so exhausted. I just got a package from Indeed Lab. They are a Canadian brand, I believe. They literally sent me the email like two days ago, or Monday actually, to, that they wanted to send me a package. And I was like, oh sure, why not? And I just checked my mail and I received it. So it's the Indeed Nano Bronze Deep, bronzing drops for darker skin tone. So I'm guessing it's kind of, it's a bronzer. I've actually never used one of those like bronzer type thingies that you use on your face. It's a tinted serum that combats dullness and provides an instant radiant glow. This is, so basically, it's not a new product. They had the product before, but then they just extended the shade range. So I'm excited to try this. I will definitely be filming a TikTok slash Instagram first impressions review video for it. But yeah, thank you indeed for sending this over. I would love to try them out. But definitely not now because i am too exhausted swimming was nice i was happy i went aisha too enjoyed herself which is nice and yeah that was basically it guys so i just got back home um i'm just currently wanting to make dinner and my dinner is going to be a smoothie because i just don't have the energy to cook anything not only do i not have the energy to cook anything i don't have any protein that is cooked everything is in the freezer and frozen and i do not have the energy to wait for it to defrost so what we're going to do now is make a smoothie and yeah, go get ready for bed. So it is currently, I think, maybe 6 p.m. and I just made a smoothie. It tastes divine. Um, I'm just gonna have this. 
oh god it is so wonderful and this is most likely going to be my dinner because i'm actually not hungry if i was hungry i probably would have made maybe like a shawarma or something something easy or if i had leftovers in my fridge i probably would have had that but thankfully i'm not hungry so this smoothie would suffice for today and that's good i'm just going to do this have this for dinner clear up the space and then i will do my um, evening skincare have my shower and pray isha hey guys so this is going to be me just going through my typical nighttime routine and i usually try to make sure i clear my kitchen i don't like leaving dishes overnight i do sometimes don't get me wrong but for the most part i like to clear it out and then i head over to do my skincare and i always 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 well i didn't used to do this before but i started doing it after having several dental issues i always brush my teeth before going to bed and then my skincare my nighttime skincare routine is usually a bit more intense i go in with my hydration products and then i use azelaic acid i like to use my actives mainly in the night because it just has more time to sink into my skin and just stay for longer period of times and yeah that's basically it and of course i have to use my CeraVe to moisturize my skin because if you know i have extremely dry skin so you always have to stay moisturized and for hair products i use my i think it's called we are plant made the inches and the roots oil and i just massage that into my scalp go ahead say my isha prayer and then that's about it i'm an early morning person so I always try to go to bed very early i try to journal sometimes not every single day but yeah i just journal and it is off to bed and that's about it